Now, here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. And we've got some lingering snow showers out there right now, mainly across southeastern Mass. Let's take a look at them with our live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. And you can see them out across uh, parts of Cape Cod and the uh, uh, Bourne area and out to uh, parts of Falmouth and into uh, Barnstable and uh, Yarmouth. And they're going to continue to work their way across the Cape. Other than that, it's fairly quiet across uh, southeastern New England and we're going to remain quiet here in the Ocean State for the overnight. Temperature right now 33 in Providence, 34 in Fall River, Newport 33. Block Island right now is at 36. Live City Camp picture. It's nice and quiet. Good visibility here in Providence with a temperature of 33. Winds from the north still busy at uh, 17 miles an hour are making it feel like it's 22 with that wind chill factor. The satellite radar picture showing the clouds trying to get out of here. We will be seeing some clearing during the overnight hours as we're seeing drier air working its way down on the backside of what is now a fairly intense storm system working its way on off to our uh, uh, north and east at the moment. You see the area of low pressure spinning around out there. On the backside of it, we've got these north and northwesterly winds, which are trying to drag down some colder and drier air into southern New England. So I'm expecting to see some partial clearing during the overnight, but the cold air will be seeping into the area. In fact, any moisture left on the roadways from the rain and snow that we had earlier and the snow that's falling right now across parts of the area, it will likely be freezing up. So do expect some black ice overnight and early tomorrow morning. Sunshine for your Sunday, but it will be noticeably colder with temperatures struggling to get out of the 20s tomorrow afternoon. Afternoon. For Monday, not nearly as cold, and we'll have some sunshine temperatures, more back to normal in the mid to upper 30s on Monday afternoon, but a cold start on Monday. So for tonight, looking at areas of black ice, especially across southeastern Massachusetts, where you get a little bit more in the way of precipitation today. Overnight tonight, temperatures will be falling down into the mid-20s by around 5 o'clock in the morning. And then uh, throughout the rest of the morning, we're looking at lows in the lower 20s, rising back up to only about 28 degrees by 11 o'clock in the morning. So we'll have sunshine, but basically ineffective. We're not looking at a big warm-up tomorrow at all. 30 in Central Falls, Rumford 30, east side 30, downtown about 31 degrees. With these winds from the northwest 10 to 15 miles an hour. Warwick 31, Cranston 30 over in Barrington about 31 degrees. Blustery day down along the south coast, low 30s in Charlestown to Westerly and on over into Newport. Coventry around 29. Wind chill factors likely in the teens at times for tomorrow. Looking at sunshine everywhere including up in northern Rhode Island where temps will be topping out in the upper 20s. Southeastern Massachusetts. Same deal for you folks. Much colder, breezy and dry with sunshine temperatures upper 20s to lower 30s. Here's that seven day future and we are expecting to find some slightly milder temperatures for Monday back into the 40s for Tuesday with a chance for a few sprinkles or flurries at night. Wednesday remaining mild. Same for Thursday and on Thursday night into Friday could be dealing with some snow turning over to a rain but staying mild as we head into next weekend. The only real cold day I guess would be tomorrow. Sunshine temperatures topping out in the upper 20s but feeling like the teens. Kind of a bundle up kind of day tomorrow. Alright I'll definitely do that. Thanks TJ. And still ahead on my witness.